Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, a platform where you can design beautiful websites and host your online store. Right, so we finally made it to the forest. You can see all the trees down there. They're the trees in the open, and then there's a bit more of a dense forest over there, which is not much good for Astro. I need these trees over here out in the open, but I haven't left myself a lot of time to scout, but um, I'm gonna try my best and it should be okay to scout in the moonlight earlier. The only thing is there's a lot of cows here. <laughs> if you watch my recent vlog about photographing the moonrise, you'll know I've been having a nightmare with cows lately. And these are all bulls and females with horns. And But they seem very used to people. So, I think we'll be okay. Quite often this place is in the clouds. The cloud base is pretty low today, but sometimes it comes up and covers the forest, which looks incredible. It just works really well with these gnarly mystical trees, but I'm quite happy that it's low today because we've got dark skies tonight. So I want to try and photograph things like the Milky Way, but I'd love to come back here on another day when the cloud is sort of just this height. You can just about see the sky and the moon will be in the sky. You have the moon playing with the mist and the trees. So I might come back next week and see if I can try and time it with the fog and the mist and the clouds rising. That would be absolutely incredible. So I'll probably spend most of my time in this area tonight because it's a bit more open. You can see a lot of sky. It's not too dense like the forest over there. Oh my God. It's wild. There's so many compositions, so many beautiful trees. And I just love it when you're in a location where you can sort of face any direction and capture a lot of different things in the night sky. So. I think I'm going to have a blast here tonight. The moon is up until 1.30 a.m. So I'll have a little play with the moonlight, do some moonscapes, and then I think the perfect time will be just as the moon is setting and there's a little bit of light on the trees, but you can still sort of see the Milky Way. I think that transition is going to be a really good time for photography here. So I'm going to continue scouting. I'm going to drive down to the nearest town, find some food, and then come back and see what I can capture. But I've got a feeling this is gonna be a really fun night. <laughs> yeah, mate, I need to get my car out, so if you don't mind uh, moving that ass. Thank you very much.
So I drove down to the town, which is about 20 minutes away, had the most amazing meal. But driving down, you go through the clouds, and it's incredibly miserable down there, and raining and misty. And then after my food, just driving back up, breaking through the clouds, and the moon and the stars just emerging. <laughs> oh, it's like blasting off into space. And man, I thought this place was beautiful in the daytime. Walking around here to the sound of the crickets and the frogs in the pond over there. And I've got this place to myself. There's no wind. It's incredibly peaceful. The sky is absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is so good. So, so good. I'm gonna start finding some compositions from over there where I was earlier. And, uh, <laughs> well, I'm gonna start taking some photos, guys. Woo! A quick break from the vlog to let you know that all of the images from my Madeira trip are available to view over on my website, which is hosted by Squarespace, the sponsors of today's video. It was super easy. All I had to do was drag the exported images to Squarespace, wait for them to upload. You can add a title and a caption and boom, you've got yourself a beautiful looking gallery. And your images upload at 100% quality. They don't get compressed like Facebook and Instagram, which ruin the quality of your images. But Squarespace is more than just an online gallery. You can have a blog, you can have an e-commerce store, you can have scheduled workshops where people can sign up to workshops. It's just everything a creative needs. If you'd like to give Squarespace a try, head on over to squarespace.com forward slash Allen. Start with one of their award-winning templates, customize it to your heart's content. And if you're happy with the website and you want to go live, use code Allen at the checkout for 10% of your first purchase of a website or a domain name. Now back to the vlog. So my plan is to just bounce around as quick as possible, trying all sorts of different compositions and lining up the moon, the Milky Way, Cassiopeia, whatever I can find. So I'm gonna keep things simple. I'm just shooting with the Sony 14mm F1.8 G Master, which is a superb lens. And the wide angle just really works with these trees, just getting up and close and just making them fill the sky with all the intricate gnarly branches. And it's also helping me to separate the trees from one another because I can get nice and close to one of the trees uh, and put it in some empty space in the sky. Whereas with a longer focal length, they all kind of bunch up together and it's quite difficult to, to find separation, but enchanted, mystical, magical are just some of the words that are coming to mind right now. This is, uh, this is so beautiful. So I was trying to get a nice shot with the core, but I just couldn't find a killer composition. And then I turned around to face the Cassiopeia region, found a really nice composition with this long dangly tree that I'm super happy with. And similar to yesterday, I'm not gonna use a tracker because the trees are covering the sky. And I'm just gonna do multiple exposures for stacking. And the star glow filter is working amazingly good. <laughs> on this composition with Cassiopeia. 
and top of Cygnus. So I'm going to do 10 exposures and I'm going to put the Starglow filter in front of the lens for half of the exposure 10 times. <laughs> so I'm going to get doing that and hopefully the image comes out as good as it looks on the back of the camera. Alright, so I'm using the Benro geared head for my stills camera and it's the perfect head for the job because it allows you to make very minute adjustments in your composition which with these trees and especially at a wide angle and being so close to them it just it helps so much because a slight bit of movement adjusts the composition and the trees so much um, so I'm glad I've got the geared head with me because that's just been awesome for perfecting the composition because there are some really intricate compositions that I've been doing tonight. I'm just shooting this image here, um, which has got Pleiades sneaking into one corner and Andromeda in a gap in another corner. But oh, there's just been so many compositions tonight that just not possible. You just gotta get the separation from that tree. You move a little bit to get away from the tree, and the Milky Way is in an awful place, and finding the perfect spot has proven difficult. There are compositions that could have been amazing, but for some little reasons, just weren't really possible. So, man, I've had a blast so far. I've taken so many photos, I just hope they're as good as they look on the back of the screen. Because you know what it's like when you get home and they were nowhere near as good as what you thought they were. But I think, I think I've got some really good images tonight. One of the best nights of astrophotography I think I've ever had. Definitely top 10, maybe even top five. Depends how good the images turn out, but I photographed so many different things. Ursa Major, Cassiopeia, Pleiades, Andromeda, the Milky Way. I saw so many meteors, like at least 15. And most of them left persistent trains. But I didn't get any of my images, I don't think. I need to check. I think I got a couple on film. Either way, what an absolutely incredible place. I'd like to come back when maybe there's a little bit of mist and the moon is light in the mist and the trees. And I'd love to do some star trails here. I didn't do any star trails tonight because I was working both cameras quite a lot. 
And maybe I'll come back here and do some moonlit star trails in a few days' time. I could come back here so many times.